Hello Cyber Patriots, this is Daniel Dotson. Today we're going to be talking about hashes and the reason we're discussing this is during round two of the 2019 Cyber Patriot round there was a forensic question asking you how to compute a SHA-256 hash on a specific file. And I know that some of you may have had troubles with that, um, so today we're going to look at how you c can do that and how you can do it easily and quickly. Um, so first of all, what is a hash? A hash is the output of an algorithm, either MDA, which stands for Message Digest, or SHA, which stands for Secure hash algorithm and basically what it does is it provides um, a way to check for errors or um, data flaws in the file for example say I download a large program if I want to make sure that that program hasn't been um, tampered with and that there isn't any malicious code in it I, I can get the original ch um, hash from the manufacturer or software developer and then I can compute the current hash of that file or program and see if it's the same. If it's altered that might be an indication that the file is corrupted or that the file has most malicious code in it and that I need to be aware of that. Um, so there are several different ways to compute hashes you can manually do it in the command line or in PowerShell if you're using a Windows operating system. You can also use different applications to calculate those hashes. And finally, there are also some websites that you can upload files to to determine the hashes. Now, that's a good option if you have a small text file or a pr pretty small image maybe. But if you have a large, um, very large file, uploading it to the internet to determine the um, value of that hash would be pretty difficult and time consuming. So let's look at using applications to determine the hash values of a file. So in our virtual machine here, we have forensic question one, so let's open that up. What is the MD5 checksum, which is the same thing as a hash. What is the MD5 checksum of the Coca-Cola formula file on the desktop? So here we have our Coca-Cola formula file and we're asked to find the MD5 hash or checksum. Um, hash and checksum can be used interchangeably. So on your desktop of your CyberPatriot computers you'll notice a WinMD5 program installed. So we're going to open that up and drag it to the side so we can work with both things. To calculate it, um, all I'm going to do is um, select this file, drag it outside of the virtual machine, drop it into the WinMD5 um, program, and it's going to very quickly provide me with this file hash, which you see right here. So now I can copy and paste that checksum into my answer line in the forensic question file. I'll make sure to save the file and close it and hopefully I'll receive points for that. So now we can close WinMD5. Um, also another option if you want to download WinMD5 from the internet onto your virtual machine you, that's acceptable. Um, you can also drag the program into your virtual machine if it will let you. Sometimes it can be kind of tricky about that. So this is how you use 7-zip to calculate an SHA-256 hash. If 7-zip is not installed in your virtual machine, you can use the 7-zip that's installed in your physical machine to calculate that hash. And what you would do is you would select the file, so our forensic question number two asks us, what is the SHA-256 hash value of the Coca-Cola file? 
So what we're going to do is we'll select this file and simply drag it and drop it onto our desktop of our computer. And since we have 7-Zip installed in this computer, all we have to do to calculate the hash is right click on the file. 7-Zip adds this CRC SHA option to the right click menu when it's installed. So now you can see that there's several different options. Um, we're interested in the SHA-256 hash. So we will select that. And this gives us a pop-up window that displays that hash along with the size and name of the file and the type of hash. To copy it, you can simply select the hash and hash name and um, hit Control c on your keyboard to copy it. Then let's go back to our friends at question 2 and put this in the appropriate place. Um, note, we're going to have to delete this, sorry, we're going to have to delete this section of the answer since that is not what they are going to be looking for. They just want the hash, not the SHA-256 in front of that. So now uh, make sure you have the appropriate number of spaces before it and you have that hash there. Make sure you save the file and you can close it now. And that's it. Um, you can delete this file, leave it there. It does not particularly matter. Um, and that is how you calculate an SHA-256 hash using 7-Zip.